no answer at the club. Where else would Angel be? How the hell should I know? Well, he knows Paget. I can't figure out how he knows Paget, though. Well, you know him. Yeah, so what? Now, damn it, I, I, I just don't understand what Jonathan was thinking when he moved that collection without telling me. I... Maybe he decided to change the plan. What plan? The one you two are cooking up. All right. Why don't we just get to this? Why do you keep insisting that I'm involved in something crooked? Because there's a scam going on here. It's apparent. It is not apparent to me. Look, you just see and hear with this guy what you want to see and hear with him. Oh, man, that is another thing. Why do you keep insisting that Paget is into some kind of shady deal? Well, why is he prepared to take a $50,000 full check? All right, all right, I'm going to repeat myself one more time for you. Make it very clear. If I drop out of the deal, he gets it, but I'm not dropping out. I don't buy that. I don't care if you don't buy it. That's your privilege. What bothers me is why you're so suspicious of me. I remember the days of the Aztec treasure. Oh, come on, Robert. That was years ago. What about the incident of the dragon bone? If you recall, I was sort of blackmailed into that one. Everyone knows you like to play it hard and fast. <sighs> Maybe Patrick does. Maybe he's using this to his advantage. How? You're obsessed with this collection. You want it real bad. Maybe you're prepared to turn the other way. And let something illegal happen? Like what? Come on, Sean. Museums are flogged in. Replicas, bogies, duds every day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a beauty. This is a real beauty. I mean, you think that I bought this silly collection because I'm going to dupe it and sell it off to museums? That's not friendship. Oh, I'm your friend. That's why I'm not letting go of this. Well, if you really want to help me, man, you just back off of me. I can't do that. You know, why don't you give me some brains? Don't you think I would know if Paget was using me for some reason? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe you're prepared to go along with that just to get your hands on the collection. Now, if you really knew how important this collection is to me, you would understand. Oh, I know how important it is to you. What I don't understand is why you want to risk everything to get it. And I don't understand why you want to put our friendship on the line by not trusting me. I trust you. That's why I'm looking out for you. And I've told you the truth. And I'm not going to stop. Wherever you are going. Look, Robert, if you think you've got a case, then spell it out. Well, look, I just don't have all the specifics pinned down at the moment. All right, then get off of my back, will you? You want to leave the warehouse because you want to go searching for Paget? I said, fine. You want to come back here and start calling around to all the hotels looking for him? I said, fine again. Now, doesn't that prove that I am just as mystified as you are where this guy is? You've got to admit that you helping me find this guy would make for a rather interesting cover-up, correct? Of course it would. It worked in Tangiers, didn't it? But this time it's legit. And besides, I've got nothing to hide. Well, I'll figure that out when I find Paget, And I will find him, Sean. You know that. I hope you do. And one more thing. Don't ever bring up that Aztec thing again, okay? Well, it's just that you kind of get your glean in, in, in the good eye every time I hear the term... The Wellington Collection. All right, if you want to arrest me be because of this gleam in my good eye, then go ahead. I don't want to arrest you for anything. I just... I just want to know what's going on. Then quit wasting your time by... by mistrusting your friends, Commissioner. Why don't you take that warm butt of yours, direct it toward the cold outdoors, and get... get... Do your job, will you? Kate? Hi. Nice to have you back. Hi, Sean. Um... I guess you heard that. Yes, I heard all I needed to, yes. Cab driver's got quite an attitude. Well, I don't know. Maybe you tried to run a check on him and he objected. Give over. I mean, I'm not that bad. 
Well, on the other hand, the cabbie's not a friend of yours, so he's probably safe. Ah, uh, look. <clears throat> I think I've got to point something out to you. That... Well, Sean sort of goes all weak at the knees at the mention of the Wellington collection. Now, I've seen something like this happen before. Hmm. If there's something smelly about this deal, and I know there is, I don't want him getting in any deeper. Well, you do have a way of making um, your suspicions sound very, very virtuous. Well, I'm just trying to be a good friend. Well, well, what good friends would say, uh, are you sure you're not heading into trouble, or is there any way that I can help you? Hmm. Well, I can't change a lifetime of bad habits overnight. And then what are you going to do? I don't know. Look, I do love you. I don't have any answers. But I, I don't want to be shut out. Why do you think I canceled the rest of my tour? So I came back here. <sighs> kind of wonder whether I'd ever do this again. I do love you. Then, um, uh, don't, uh, lock me out. I have Just no yet. intention of ever locking you out. Mm. You know, for what it's worth, I'm sorry I missed the New York concert. But you canceled me. Well, after the first one, I went back to my dressing room and just sat there until everyone left the auditorium. And I went back out on stage to the piano and I played for hours. You mean after we'd had our altercation? Well, some of the pieces I played did indicate that I was a little bit upset with I'm glad I missed those. Other pieces reminded me of you. This? You like this one? Yeah. This one I played over and over again because it reminded me of how much I missed you. Up. You can't walk away from it. It's too much a part of you. I know. I know. Well, there's another little number you should think about, too. Something like this. The, te <laughs> the technique is a little lacking, but it's the thought that counts. Red. <laughs> mm. Well? Yeah, it's not going to be easy. Maybe. You're probably right. But, you know, we've both got careers, but that doesn't mean that they have to run our lives. Now, forget the music side of it. I mean, that's important. That's a part of life. And I don't want to lose that anyway. But when this cop finishes his day's work, he wants to come home and fool around with his wife. 